For Sean. Feel good in this one? Wow. Thick, chunky, North Dakota walleyes up shallow. What is going on guys? We are back with <laughs> another video. Showed you guys, if you guys didn't watch the last video, we kind of filmed a cool little sequence where we went from one lake to out here. Where are we right now, you might ask? We are out here in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Look at this day. Look at this guy, too. Yeah, it's something else. Yeah, this guy is something else, too, right? Me? Me. Oh, yeah. What a view. But well, we are out here today. Sun's just coming up out here in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. A lot of times when we film these videos, like we kind of let you guys in on yesterday, a lot of times we'll come to a new body of water, play around for like half a day, and then uh, hopefully kind of put a couple patterns together and go exploit them for kind of a big YouTube video the next day. So today is the exploit day, where we hopefully put to use some of the things we learned yesterday and catch a whole pile of walleyes out here on Devil's Lake today. We got a couple different patterns going. We'll kind of show you guys a little bit about that stuff. Um, we've, we have to film some awesome walleye now stuff as well. We filmed some yesterday. Yep. We've got to film some awesome <clears throat> walleye now stuff for kind of like the deep dive on a couple of different things we're doing just so this video is not an hour long um, on some of those specifics. If you guys want to come out here and catch a bunch of fish, we'll give you guys those full breakdowns on the walleye now. But we're going to start out doing something a little different, aren't we? I'm super excited to make a, a long run on such a beautiful day and get after it today. So we're going to be kind of be jogging kind of all over today around the lake. Um, so I don't even want to talk too much because it's such a beautiful day and I'm so excited to fish. Anything else to add, Mitchell? No, ma'am. Let's go. No, man. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, way to wake up. Yeah, right there. It sure is. My favorite part about fishing large bodies of water is the sunrise at sunset. Yeah, look at that. It's just so much better than fishing small bodies of water. Well, we have arrived at spot number one. Now, I don't really want to get too much into what we're doing just in case it totally flops, Mitchell. And yeah, we end up it just, could. We end up just taking a straight left turn right off the bat here, but we will see, I guess. But essentially what we're going to do is we're going to start out fishing um, relatively shallow. You know, I think a lot of times people have association with fish sitting very deep in the middle of summer. And the reality is, and especially a lot of these North Dakota, South Dakota, these kind of like prairie lakes or that small prairie lake, big prairie lake, there's always a shallow bite, it seems like, in my experience of doing this. So don't feel like, you know, there's ever just one thing that's, that's happening, essentially. Because a lot of times there will be multiple things that are happening, especially on lakes like this, with a lot of structural diversity. And I'm just gonna start pulling out just all sorts of rods. I see that. I might get some spinners out. I might get some drop shots out. I might get some snap jig plastics out. I might just do a little bit of everything this morning, but stay tuned. We're gonna get situated here and hopefully start firing on some nice Devil's Lake walleyes. Should get a bite out of that. Nice. Fish on. Feeling right, Mitchell. There we go. First one of the day. It's looking like it's probably halfway decent, isn't it? That's the hope, you know. The hope was kind of we'd come up here up shallow. We'd be able to catch some. some oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some real nice sized fish like that right there. I love it. What a beautiful way to start oh, the day right there, huh? Pitching on some shallow water walleyes. I got a drop shot going. Yeah, and I'm snap jigging. We'll Mitchell's see. pop jigging. It seems like, you know, the unfortunate reality about this week is we just have zero wind the whole time. Yeah, it makes so, it tough, tough fishing. These shallow fish are just like not really feeling it. We're like most time, I think you could do something that would move a lot faster. It might be just kind of a drop shot finesse type of jig thing, you know, until we kind of you know, maybe those fish get active a certain time, or maybe we find some secret, top secret presentation, Mitchell, but. We'll see, we'll see. I am simply shooting at fish 
on the side imaging with a drop shot right now. How deep are we sitting in? 13 feet. 13 casts into about eight or nine on a weed edge. And that's kind of the deal. We might be able to troll these fish with a, with a harness and a port crawler. We might be able to do a few other things. Mitchell, what do you think about just going to a, a crawler on a jig? Yeah, it might be a little. I don't think that's a dumb idea at all. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't think popping these plastics is really doing. We haven't caught a single fish on this yet for two days. Yeah, so. we didn't try it much yesterday. I was hoping that maybe right away in the morning they'd. Yeah, but be a little more responsive. But I'd say the confidence level in this presentation is pretty low. Pretty low right now. Dude, come on, man. Oh, I thought I had. Him. Did you let him eat again? Yeah. Got him? Yep. There we go. Give me some. They literally just missed Man, the fish. are they stingy, huh? They are, man. <laughs> it's crazy. They were sitting in nine feet of water. Good fish, too. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice walleye. That's what we like, boy. That's what we like. Heck yeah. Bring them in. Bring them in. You can see the weeds down there. Nice fish. I mean, dude, just watching them fight like that. Jeez. They're angry, aren't they? They are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my thing. gosh, I it's almost like want to go grab like the a... camera and watch them fight, but... Seriously? It'll nice. be a cold day in February where, like, you'll just be dreaming of watching that. Yeah, oh my yeah. gosh, yeah. It's yeah. just not the same when you're fishing through an 8-inch hole and you're like... Oh, there he is, he popped up through the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Versus, look at this, a beautiful morning, you're watching fish just paddling oh, around down there. Oh, that's great. And I'm still jigging, but I switch from plastic and I put a crawler on my jig. <laughs> I'm not normally one to just go straight out live bait, but it's it's kinda, just, it was kind of mandatory today. Yeah, it just seems a shallow like... Water bite. And even that is just still like pulling teeth. I mean, yeah. we just side image so many fish and there we go. Solid devil's like walleye right there. What more can you ask for? As good as it gets right there. Uh, yeah. All right, let's get him back. Hang on again. Oh, Mitchell. Nice. B roll, my man. That B roll. <laughs> nice. Give me that was a good release. All right, let's do some more. Yeah. Fish on. Feel good in this one? Feels weird. It looks good. I'll say that. Definitely feeling right. Looks like a lot of weight there. It really ran right off the bat. All right, Mitchell. All right. Oh, yeah. Nice walleye. Real nice walleye. <laughs> we'll take them that size, huh? Look at that guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Scoop them up, boy. Scoop them up. My net man Mitchell is gonna scoop this. That's, it. That's what we're after, huh? Yeah, good fish. That's what we're after. <laughs> oh, dude, I love watching that so much. So much. I mean, they right, just don't quit out here. Let me net him so I can keep jigging. I'm trying, Mitchell. I don't want to horse him, though. I don't know how he's hooked. I got a little drop shot hook on. You're just like watching him sit there and flail around. Uh, I don't want to horse him. Okay. They got a lot of power up here, real shallow like this. We'll get this guy off right here. And you know, it's not fast and furious. I'm sure if we had a breeze, we could probably make something a little bit faster and cooler and sexier happen. But I mean, you can't you can't choose how the bite is often on these trips, Mitchell, you know? No, you can't at all. How would you when... how would you choose it to be? Hundred of these already? Hundred already? That's a modest day, I'd say. Yeah, pretty average day. There we go. See you later, big mama. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh man, I got bit right away on that cast. You did? Yep. Nice. I'm over here flying the drone. Mitchell's taking some drone shots. Just that making this fast. video. Better that was than a real fast snipe of that fish. Without the you guys shots. could probably see the length of time I went from when I casted to when I set the hook, and it was probably it seemed like it was about four seconds in my mind. But it was probably a little longer than that. Nice fish, nice fish, nice fish. It's cool when it works out like that. 
it's like a good old fashioned like TV, meant for TV fish catch right there. And it's all thanks to the old hummingbird. There we go, look at that drop shot hook right in the roof of the mouth. I was just sliding past a few on an outside weed edge, saw two marks, boom. Just think if I would have flew the drone for another minute. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. you can't, you just can't always can't, line it up that well, unfortunately. It. This is not a professional TV grade production, Mitchell. No, just... I'm, and I'm actually terrible at flying a drone. Are you? <laughs> yeah. No, there we go. Let right? that guy go. Gosh, there's another one fish. Let's see how this comes down to. Two fish. I got one. We're going really fast. Seriously, right you away. got it right away? So I was two feet off the mark. There we go. Nice. Sharp shooting boys. Yeah, that was literally one fish, I guess. Seriously. Are they getting bitey? I don't know. It's feeling big, Mitchell. Is it Look really? At this. Look at this. I'm still trying to just. Look at that fish. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a real nice one. Around you. It's a really nice fish. Look at that. Jeez. Grab that camera. See Look if we can film just swimming. It's just such a beautiful sight, you know. And that's what we're after up here, up shallow. We kind of knew these fish would be, yeah, it might be a little bit bigger. And I don't know if Mitchell can get a shot of that. How's he oh, looking? I got it. I think I do. <laughs> I, mean, I can't see because the sun, but pretty sure. I mean, it's just the greatest, it's the greatest sight of all time, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna try not to lose this guy here, and I'll scoop him up real quick. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Oh, there we go. Angry. Oh, I got the shot. Angry. Look at that, dude. They're heavy. Look at that. Wow. Thick, chunky North Dakota walleyes up shallow. Sharp shooting them off the side imaging. Drop shots, jig and worm. Too cool. And that's as good as it good gets. Good fish, right too. There. Really good fish. Oh. Now, those are not eater sized fish, are they, Mitchell? No. I mean, some people do, but no. Yeah, they don't like not. keeping those fish over 20. The good news is, there is another pattern that we're fishing which is like unlimited keeper size fish. Just for that opportunity. Wow, got him on the port crawler, Mitchell. Did you? Yeah, yep. nice. Hey. Oh guys, we ran out of crawlers. Turns out you can catch them good on artificials. Mitchell, this might be the best one yet. Yeah, it looks. You see what this is doing to me? Is it a pike? It's really going fast. Looks like it might be pikeish. It's because it is pikeish, Mitchell. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice pike though. This lake's full of big pike too. Of course, it, he would eat the pork, huh? He likes that fatty pork. How big is it? No, he's not that big. He's fat. Oh though. man, yeah. He's a fat a one. Solid fish. Well, if you're looking to eat fish, why not cut something like that up if you're good at flaying them, right? Cut them up. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Throw the wallies back and eat the pike. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. They honestly taste just as good as Well, you guys know in this channel, we always get so many cotton. Why are you guys throwing those fish back? You don't mean to net that thing, or do you rather just handle it? I should it? just be able to grab, back grab them. Oh, look at that big fish on the side of it. <laughs> oh, might be the pike. He's hooked just right in the nose, too. But uh, you always get asked so many questions. Why don't you guys ever keep any fish? Well, it's literally out of respect for the fish. And, you know, obviously there's somebody's water where you can probably keep some walleyes, right? This body of water is one of them. Your big bodies of water that have super robust natural reproduction and things like that. But for the most part, I mean, you've seen a lot of lakes over time, obviously, especially in the last several years, get not as good yeah. for walleye fishing anymore. There are definitely and I know some the systems next, the next comment is it. Tom, but you show people how to catch fish. You know, I do do that. You got players over there, Mitchell. But I also like to preach catch and release because it is so unbelievably important with the information sharing available to people right now. The advancements in technology, all of those things, you know, essentially, when used correctly, will make it easier to get on fish quickly. And that's exactly why we designed the Wally Now app and do a lot of things we do. But ultimately, it means catch and release is more important than it previously have been. So I always like to throw that out there when it's relevant. All right, boys and girls, just caught a nice pike. You know, we kind of showed you guys a cool way to catch fish out here. Some of these nicer fish for sure. Yeah. A little bit shallower, a little bit more finessey, following those fish around. 
super effective way to fish, obviously. But there is another pattern, Mitchell, which mm -hmm. is kind of custom catered to catching a lot of fish and a lot of nice eater sized fish. Yeah, definitely. Or if you want to come out here or we're come out to any body of water that fishes like this, maybe it's a prairie lake, maybe it's Devil's Lake, maybe it's a you know a western reservoir. A lot of these are going to fish the same where you're looking for the, kind of a similar piece of structure. And that's kind of what we're going to go do now. Show you guys a totally different style of fishing that catch the pile of fish. Yeah, a ton of them. Let's do Anything it. else to say, Mitchell? Are we picking this stuff up, making a run, and we're going to do it? No, I'll start speaking again when we start catching them again. Enjoy this nice little running B-roll segment. I might have a little dink on that background on this bayou right now. And I think I have one right here too, possibly. Oh yeah. Decent? I didn't see it hit, but it doesn't feel like tiny. I, think I was we, looking at that rod go off. I thought a fish hit yeah, that one. I think one, we do have a little one on here too. Yeah, okay. So I was watching that one. This one must have got smacked. Yours feel all right? Yeah, it does. It's not on the surface yet, huh? No, it actually feels pretty decent. Well, guys, we're about to catch an absolute mountain of fish. Yeah, this is There's no true. real way, other way to describe this. Other than the fact that I'm a true about to catch an absolute amount of fish. Perfect eater right there. Some are going to be like that. Some are going to be like the one Mitch has on here. Let's also talk about something here. We keep saying perfect eater, but yet we say, hey, you whoa, know, whoa, catch whoa. and release, catch and release. Well, sometimes when you can go to a system, something like this, or another system that just can hold Is he so nice? many fish that you're not just going to overpressure and clean it out within two years, like oh, yeah, nice a lot of stuff we fish, there's nothing wrong with... Uh, Catching fish like this and keeping yeah. the limit, is there? There you go, Mr. Show them off. I mean, that's just as perfect of an eater as eaters get. There it is. Look at this spike dome head thing he's yeah. got going on. A unicorn. But I guess welcome back to part two of the video, huh? Yeah. And uh, this is the part where I'll show your fish up. I mean, hey, so Thank you. Thank you, you just work on catching another one. But uh, we're doing something obviously totally different. We're trolling, we're pulling a lead core, and we're pulling it on a very unique piece of structure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. gotta get this fish back which is the old lake bed, which is kind of cool piece, cool piece of structure. But essentially it's trolling hard bottom. Some of the last kind of deep hard bottom spots before it breaks out to no man's land, which is the basin, yeah. which is a popular trolling pattern kind of wherever you're going to go in the summer, wow. right? It's just this old lake bed's kind of a unique piece of structure. And yesterday, yeah. After catching about a million fish doing this, we, we shot again. an awesome walleye now piece on it, which yeah. will be found under summer natural lake and the thumbnail looks something like this right here but uh it's kind of a unique piece of structure we kind of go into how you find it how we're running baits kind of all that little stuff but you know all the stuff that makes it that take up way too much time to do in a video like this you'd end up with hour-long videos all the time mm -hmm. but uh there we go i mean we're out here i mean that took absolutely no time and uh hopefully we can kind of keep doing this and put together just an action-packed middle of the day here huh There you, Mitchell. there you go. That's a good bite. That's looking better, huh? Yeah, there you is. go. Take it. I'm letting the line out. Still feel decent or no? It's hard to say. Yes. Decent? It's hard. I can't even see that far. Can you? It's like a decent it's little your... keeper size one, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Skim them all. Flip them in, flip them in. And this is a, just a super... Oh, he's right at the maximum size of that. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. I didn't realize that. <laughs> oh, Good man. one, though. Yeah, and, you know, mixed, uh, we're catching, obviously, just a, an absolute ton of fish, right? I don't know if the video looks like that or not, the way it's going to be edited, but. Oh, um, gosh. The boat shifts? It's like you catch, you know, one of those, and you catch two 12-inchers, and you catch another one of these, you know, these 16, 17, 18-inchers. Tons of bites. Absolutely no complaints on this style of fishing. Oh my gosh. Just These things fumbling. are so feisty, aren't they? Hold them back here to me, Mitchell. Just some feisty, feisty. Hey, you got a fish right there behind you. Grab it, grab it. I'll just. Alright, you just talk to that, I guess. There we go. And it's like as fast as you can keep lines in the water. Pretty much, yeah. One after another. Yeah, if you're looking to have a lot of fun and reeling tons and tons of fish. <laughs> yeah. 
Definitely come out here. Or just get it. Mitchell right there. Look at this. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish, Mitchell. That's our best bite yet. Yeah, it is. Oh, Careful on that. I got him. Careful on that, Mitchell. Yeah, it feels like it's a better fish. Coming right over this little tail, this thing. Yeah, I got one that's probably. A fish here. What's that? Definitely a better fish. Yeah. Some weight there? Yeah. That's good. He's either hooked good or it's a good one. Look how I mean, sideways this weird. one's going. I got a nice one, too. Oh, he came off. I hope this one is hooked good. No, and I had is a spot 18 right there. Mitchell's uh, got the one I'm actually excited about, though, on here. Yeah. Give it to see what this thing looks like. See what this bad boy's got on him, huh? See what it's he's packing. A little eater fish pattern, but this could be the one, you know. Yeah. The if there's anybody who's good at taking their time, we're going to fish in. Oh, you know, you're just supposed to horse a big fish in. <laughs> I know. I don't I know just, how big it is. I feel like you always take a couple of real cranks. You're like, ah. Oh, I just, you know, yeah. enjoying it, man. Enjoy it. I, get, I like what it. What are you supposed to do? Just, ah, I got it. Don't do that. You're scared. Yeah, me exactly. Now. So, why don't you just close you're your mouth? Me now. Let me do my job. Just keep them coming. It's coming. Keep them coming. Staying down. Staying down. I'm gonna so get, I'm gonna get uh, the old net for him. I don't think he needs a net. Oh, nice fish though. He absolutely smoked that thing, didn't he? He did. Just took her to pound skin town. It, skin it, skin it. I don't know if it's too big. It to might play. just be the same size. He might have just hit it really it hard. Might have been the same fish I just caught. Oh, he's man. He's just barely hooked too. Oh. <laughs> Good fat 18 inch walleye. Though. Yep, just good fatties. We're just trolling real small crankbaits. We have one line in the water currently. Yeah, you guys saw how just intense that got. Yeah, let's show them quick. Look at that. Eater after eater after eater. Such a productive style of fishing right now. There we go. That right, guy's so when you're pulling a lead core, really does a couple things. Number one, you can obviously catch fish doing it. Number two, you get to cover a lot of water and see where fish are. So we just had the classic scenario where we trolled for like half a mile, caught an absolute pile of fish, trolled for a quarter mile, picked up like one other fish or something like that. And obviously, you know, you go back to where, you know, you caught all the fish. So a lot of times what you do is, you know, when you get in areas that have fish or you start catching fish, you know, you, you drop some waypoints on, on that area and you go back through and uh, pull that and a lot of times you take a different angle through it and you're like oh there's actually fish where we thought there was and there's more fish over here and then after three four hours of doing this you get to be able to connect all those waypoints and really make kind of make a trolling pass that you're in fish for more of the time than you were when you started the trolling so that's kind of what we're going to do now we're just pulling lines up even though we could troll this way for miles you know and potentially run into more fish a lot of times it makes more sense to go back to your best area take a different angle through it and start connecting those dots um, as to where most of those schools of fish are. There's a fish. It's a nice one. That's a nice one right there. Come on, buddy. That rod just gets smashed. You know how these fish bite a bait? It kind of reminds me of uh, like trolling river systems in like June when you're just like streaking and like Mitchell we're doubled are we we're doubled up <laughs> grab this oh, I'm just getting the coolest drone stuff come on right come now. on I... <laughs> all right <laughs> just let the drone do its thing <laughs> oh man uh, they both feel like decent fish too don't yeah, they? they do they both feel feeling like some decent fish let me flip this guy on quick oh this reel's loose there we go yeah this one actually feels really good so does mine. There's just a couple buddies down there. Hook goofy here. Oh yeah, I got a nice one. I got a nice one. Do you? I got a real nice one. Mine's digging. Way Yours out, is digging which, nice? Which is good, yeah. Trolling rods we're using are these to be fishing Genesis rods. And basically how you get away with running, you know, four lead core rods is obviously short ones up high going out the back, right down the center. Longer ones, eight threes or eleven footers out the side and that's going to be able to spread lines for you so you're not always getting tangled north dakota you're obviously allowed two lines a person so you know we can run four lines super clean by running baits this way and give yourself an awesome opportunity to double up just like this right here i'm gonna grab this guy because he's just kind of hooked right in the corner oh no lose him no i got him how's yours mitchell 
I got him. Yeah. Decent fish. A little big hip. Nice. I didn't say a little big to flip, but I got him. Well, I think you guys probably get the deal here on how this is going. I'm gonna try to get this guy popped off. Oh, yeah. Show him off. Here we go. And look at that. I don't know what else there is to say. Oh, here's the bigger. It's only like Mine's noon. Good. It's only like noon right now, but catching a pile of walleyes out here on Devil's Lake. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Hopefully, you guys kind of enjoyed watching this style of video. You know, a couple different things going on, a couple different patterns we got to showcase. Caught an absolute pile of fish. Um, I know Mitchell had fun. I had fun. I don't think there's much else to add. Mitch is trying to get some drone shot here. <laughs> I'm just messing around. Over. But uh, don't mind me. I think we're just gonna wrap it up right there. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. Where are you gonna? Where are we gonna be next? Well, we know, but we want it to kind of be a surprise when we get there. Hopefully. So appreciate you guys watching this. If you guys are not subscribed, please do that, and we'll see you next time.